Well, we got Rodrigo Vargas with a more experienced 9-5, and, and he's been on the scene for a, light, a long time. He has age 2, 31 years old, but Marco La Roca is undefeated 6-0, and, and actually has beat Vargas's brother twice. So there is some bad blood here, and there's a lot to prove. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here with a Mexico City showdown set for three rounds. In the lightweight division, damas y caballeros, continuamos con un duelo capitalino pactado a tres vueltas en la división peso ligero. Los jueces son, the judges are, Hugo Lizama, Javier Rodríguez y Alberto Arellano Chopa. At the sound of the bell, the man in charge of the cage, referee Miguel Jiménez. Introducing first, the fighter wearing white trunks with blue and red trim, presentando a la esquina vestido de blanco con rojo y azul su peso oficial 153 libras es el oficial weight 153 pounds a nivel profesional mantiene un récord de 6 victorias y 6 derrotas as a pro he has a record of 6 victories against 6 losses representando a la ciudad de México DF La Roca Mario Antonio His opponent across the cage, vestido de negro con vivos blancos. Su contrincante, vestido de negro con vivos blancos. Wearing black with white trim, he weighed in at 156 pounds. El tuvo la báscula, a un peso oficial de 156 libras. En 14 combates a nivel profesional, mantiene un récord de 9 victorias y 5 derrotas. En 14 pro bouts, he has 9 victories against 5 losses. También oriundo de la Ciudad de México, DF, Rodrigo Casula Vargas. That's actually come from Edgar Downey, who's watching you as uh, Edgar, MMA thanks, for the man. first time. Ah, then you picked up. a good one to start with. Listen, my fight team was very, very high on Marco. Uh, uh, Michael Brown makes it in my events where they said this guy's the guy to watch. I like Kazula, uh, just because he's got a cool nickname. So, you know, you got a cool nickname, you got to back it up. Kazula, the southpaw in the black trunks. Marco Antonio Elpidio, the undefeated fighter in white. We mentioned earlier, Marco Elpidio beat Vargas's older brother. But Vargas said, you know what? The Vargas family here in Mexico City has done a lot oh, for yeah. the sport. Oh, yeah. We've helped break ground, and these youngsters aren't paying respect, and they don't show any respect and that's what Vargas wants to do tonight he said I gotta teach this youngster a lesson. Vargas with a big head kick to La Roca when you're a southpaw you tend to have fight conventional fighters most of the time and you have that rear leg far kick to the head right here and your whole body is open against a conventional fighter so let's see if he throws more of those left kicks. Vargas well traveled. Oh yeah. Catches the leg punches him. Flurries. Goes for the double leg. Lifts him up, gets the takedown. La Roca trying to stand up right away. Gets the wizard. Vargas with the body lock trying to trip him down. Great bounce by La Roca. Oh, but he gets the takedown. Looking his way back up. Vargas with a knee in the black trunk. He actually fought on the first combat there, America. So he's a he was just doing anything. He didn't care about money. He was just trying to make his way in the sport. Good right hand landed by Ophidio. Separating. Vargas. So he's trying to make this fight a gritty one. Ophidio in the white. He's going to try to stay on his feet for this one. So far, we're seeing a great display of mixed martial arts. Two great strikers. We've seen some transition to some takedowns, some escapes, some cage fighting. Muay Thai kick. Yeah. This is a good guy. It's like all oh, Chinese menu left left stuff. Big left from the veteran Vargas. Wearing it is Marco Antonio Elpidio. Both of these fighters coming down in weight the first time that both of them fight at 155. They posted that the cut was good, they did more conditioning, and they changed their diet. But Gilbert, it's harder for the older fighter to make a cut. Yeah, it is. But if you, you know, we're talking about, I guess, so we say you had a great diet and it wasn't too complicated. I, I believe 155 pounds is the weight for both these guys. They were fighting up and, and they look 
that this is the way this should be. A great inside kick right now by La Roca. Vargas returns it. La Roca, unbreakable is his name, and he gets dropped there. Knee, strong knee. Back to the takedown, Vargas is working against the cage here. Has his hands locked. La Roca with the sprawl, throwing his hips in strong right here, not trying to get the takedown. And they both look fresh at 155. Well, I'm saying that at 170, they're normally going up against guys who are really 180. They weren't tall enough or big enough for that. Good opening round. You know, Vargas feels comfortably here. He has the underhooks. He's pressing against the cage. He has uh, an inside trick going on to keep his going off balance. He feels like he's scoring points there. Now they break away. By Opedio, the undefeated fighter in white. Long right hand landed by the youngster. We brought it to Opedio. Hey, you know, your opponent says you have no respect for him. He's like, oh, you know what his problem is? Yeah, I beat his brother. He's taking it way too personal. Well, you know, maybe it's the young, youthful attitude of uh, Marco La Roca. You know, he just had a great attitude. I mean, this guy is dedicated to fighting. He travels two hours a day to train and two hours back home and trains all day. His Theo, Luis and Fidio, the one who took him to the gym at the age of 17. Because his Theo was all about the Diaz brothers. Going for the takedown, switch to a single leg, driving forward, great sprawl by La Roca. As the wizard fighting away, disengaging. Oh, strong Big straight left. left by Vargas, followed by an uppercut. Putting the pressure, 10 seconds here. Good opening round between El Pidio and Vargas. The Combate 10 in Mexico City. Oh, good action. Kazula looks better. To me, he just looks better. Just uh, up, down, whatever. He's just looking better. I have to agree. It seems like his experience and patience and composure is showing out there, maximizing his energy. Barocas a little bit moving about him. I like the head movement and everything, but just the patience and conserving the energy of Vargas, you can see him out there doing it. Cazula in black, La Roca in white. La Roca spending a lot of time up against the cage, and there you see him against La Jaula. His back is all red. He's wearing a lot of punches now. Both of them live in Mexico City, so they should be accustomed to this altitude. Yeah, the altitude doesn't think it doesn't look like a factor to me in this. That's not what's going on. Here. Yeah, both these guys are pushing at a great pace. A little bit too fast, maybe? I don't think so. I think okay. that, I think this is the style that Combatas Americas brings to La Jaula right here. Fight like a we Mexican. Want, we want to fight like a Mexican. Fight Come like on. a Latino. Stay in the center. Not one guy has backed up yet. No one has used the stick and move. It's been stay in the middle and fight, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. That's why we put North America in the center. I tiro. Mexico and America. Bring those chingazos, right, Campbell? Yeah. Ab oh, absolutely. You know, I, I hate making predictions because just because you create the sport, people think you should know what you know who's going to win. But I, this one was hard to call. But I think at this point, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Kazula. You know, I, it just looks like he's dominating here and waiting for an opportunity. I believe he's ahead on the scorecards, being more calculated out here. But La Roca just young and determined. And, and at this point, anything can happen. Yeah, Here's absolutely. a big takedown. This can really turn the tide here if La Roca shows how good his grappling is, which he says is far superior than Vargas. La Roca trains in jiu-jitsu. First time that he dropped. Vargas, Vargas back on his feet. Very good job in Vargas to get back to his feet. They had the undertook, sat back up. La Roca another with the takedown. Bouncing back up repetitively is tiring. So being tenacious with that takedown, now can you get back up again? La Roca's in half guard, using his shin to try to pin down the arm of Vargas. Now he's trapping it. Maybe he'll look to ground and pound, having one arm trapped. This isn't the kind of fight that Elfidio wanted. He preferred to stay on his feet, but he said going to the ground would be fine with him. But not too many of his fights have been on the ground. Nice, grabbing the ankles and trying to pass. By La Roca, Vargas bounces back up. Both of them take a deep breath as they stand in North America. 
Good action. Second round is scheduled for three. Vargas in the black trucks. Marco Antonio Pidio in white. We're hearing the crowd with the Casula chant. That's for Vargas. He has a lot of fans here. He's been fighting all over Mexico City in his career in sanctioned fights, unsanctioned fights, fighting family. He has fought four times in the United States. Both these guys regrouping, getting a little breath here. It seems like not much action at the moment, but these guys have been going 100% the whole time, pushing forward. Beautiful counter right hook by Vargas as La Roca comes in. Good striking from Vargas. Absolutely. A little more crisp. Now La Roca is not scared. He swings out there, but he's just a little bit more Look at this. Look at the talking. Oh. Ente. Trailo. One kick from El Pidio. You like him, guys, huh? I do. I think it can be tactical. If you're doing it right, it can work. Sometimes it doesn't. But I think Vargas is experienced and he's feeling the confidence. He's feeling things are working in the striking. He's seen the timing. A minute to go in the second round. Three five minute rounds. And Bate Diez. In the Aztec capital, Mexico City. Staying on their feet here. You're right, Gilbert. Staying on the ground takes a toll on you. Absolutely. And we're coming down to the 32nd marker here. And I think this round is up for grounds. La Roca has the big takedown, but I believe Vargas' striking has been more superior and landed more efficiently in this round. Marco Antonio Pino, very confident in the fighter meetings with us at the weigh-ins. It was testy, though, when they did the face-off. Well, both of these guys have a lot to prove here, I think. The fans, oh, what a switch kick. This has been another good round for Rodrigo Vargas. 31-year-old said he's in school, the youngster. Final seconds of the second here in Mexico City. And we for two. Great. Thank you for joining us wherever you are in North America, around the world on UFC Fight Pass. Put the grand alongside world champion Gilbert Melendez del Nino from Santana, California. Both guys stand at the octagon, third round, no one's backing down. A lot of pride on the line for these two here, and you can see it. Especially undefeated fighter in white Ovidio. I think he thought it was gonna be easier fight than he got in the Left lands. Vargas doing this to avenge the loss of his brother. You can't just see my brother twice. Right kick from Opelio. Vargas doing a great job of controlling the center of the octagon, but just staying out of range and making La Roca miss on these big strikes. Beautiful oh, counter, good step left. back, straight left. Puts the pressure, puts him against the cage. The counters from Vargas have been there all night long. The striking is impressive here in Mexico City. Going oh. for the leg. Oh, La Roca goes for the shot himself. What's he trying to do right now? He's pushing him against the case, looking to work the takedown, but just having the underhook and control here. He's on the offense, he's the aggressor, he's winning at this moment, in my opinion, but at the same time, he's regrouping. Looks like he's trying to work a single leg here. Maybe he'll run the pipe and get a takedown. But Vargas, this is a very hard position for fighters nowadays to score takedowns. Good spot by Vargas, kicking his leg back there, able to disengage in a reshot of his own. Backs away. Vargas able to get out of it. You can see the punches now from Rapidio. Not much of a pop behind him. But there's still Chris coming from Vargas. Yeah, a little Chris from Vargas, but don't count a little after. He's pushing no. forward. And here he comes with that double leg again. He lifts, takes him down. This is a huge, huge takedown here. But it's still in my head, Loroca. I gotta think. Maybe I'm down two rounds to zero. Maybe I need to put the pressure. I may need to finish here. Marco Antonio Alpino, undefeated fighter in white, he's on top. Vargas opening the guard, trying to get his shin in to create some space here. He has the overhook, but at the same time, Marco La Roca on top has the underhook, good position, can get some ground and pound here. 23 years old. Here's Alpino. 
Going for the sweep. Oh, gets in. What beautiful reversal wow, by Vargas. Nice. That Got is nice by Kazoo. Gets him on his feet. Kazoo just taking advantage control now. Going big punches. Escaping his Lupino and takes a deep breath as he separates. Oh, he looks that front kick from Lupino. Both men are tired, but La Roca, Marco La Roca's pushing forward. Vargas looked up at the time. Yeah. He He's that. feeling spent. Yeah. He's feeling spent. And the takedown by La Roca. With 140 to go, Roca. 130, 140 to go, 130 to go. That's a lot of time. Can he push? Can he pass to Mount and go for a, a finish here? He's got to go for it, right? I believe, I would in my head think I could be down two rounds to none. And if I have this opportunity, I am trying to pass and go for a big finish. But look at the, the experience of Vargas yeah. using the fence to climb over and try to get an arm bar, but still gassed. La Roca posturing up in half guard. Needs to get off and some bigger punches here. Just being on top isn't enough. He needs to find a way to do some dev devastating ground to pound here. But Vargas with his experience is locking him up with his arms well. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Combate 10 in Mexico City. Here he is trying to walk off the cage again. La Roca adjusted to that feel, felt it once, was able to counter it the second time. Here he is, posturing up, pushing off with the legs is Vargas. Will he bounce up? Look at him, oh, he's striking a pose, huh? Look at his seconds. opponent. Look at Opedio and the white just gassed right now. Dragging his right leg, too. This is what it's all about right here. Both of these guys putting it all on the line here. Shooting, nothing behind it for Opedio. 10 seconds to go in the match. A strong one for Rodrigo Vargas against Marco Antonio Elpidio. Vargas looking fresh, coming with it. And he gets taken Damn. down. And that is it, it is over. Woo. They go the distance. Amazing fight, great fight. Both heart by both of these guys. Great display of mixed martial arts here. And though they have a little bit of beef, they were able to shake hands and have respect out there. Yeah, great transitions from striking to punching. Big overhand right by Vargas inside. Kick by La Roca to a right hand. Blending things together and a beautiful double leg. And the takedowns in the third round was definitely the difference in this fight for La Roca. Scoring the big takedowns. Great kicks by both guys. There's the inside quick by La Roca, but, but countered with the, a switch kick from Vargas. For Rodrigo Ladies Vargas, and Marco going Elpidio. all three rounds. The official scorecard reads as follows. Damas y caballeros, después de completar las tres vueltas, esta es la decisión oficial. El juez Lezama anotó 30 a 27 a favor del Pidio. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lezama scores it 30 to 27 in favor of El Pidio. Judge Rodriguez scores it 30 to 27 in favor of Vargas. El juez Rodriguez anotó 30-27 a favor de Vargas. Y el juez Chopa anotó 29 a 28. Judge Chopa scores it 29 to 28. In favor of the winner, by way of split decision a favor del ganador, por decisión dividida. La Roca, Mario Antonio. That I didn't see the last round, but uh, uh, what I did see, I wouldn't have uh, found it out.